Hi everyone, and I'm going to be making a video quickly to show you how to use OBS. I have also made a video to show you the best settings of OBS, which I'll leave in the description. You can check that out after that. If you have a black screen issue with OBS, I'll also leave a link in the description to a video I made on how to fix that. So with that said and out of the way, let's get right into it. So when you first open OBS, you probably have a blank screen here, and it's just going to look pretty much like this. It's, it's pretty easy to use, and depending on what you want to record, you add sources and you can also add scenes. Normally I only keep one scene because I don't really record anything else besides like desktop or gaming, but if you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, you can add an extra scene, in which case you can add different sources and switch between the scenes. So for scene one, we'll just simply click the plus down there and we will add a display capture. A display capture will allow us to capture our display obviously. So once we have that, you can pretty much just record uh, your internet browser or anything on your display. Um, sometimes games work with display capture and sometimes they don't. You have to use them and see if the game works or not. Um, if you're trying to do gaming, I'll show you in just a moment how to do that as well. So once you have your display capture here, you can simply start recording and that will save your recording to your videos. But if you're looking to stream, then you can start your streaming. And I'll get into that in a second on how to start your stream. But if you're looking to just record, you can click start recording and end recording when it is done. I'll quickly show you here as well, since it's the next popular one, um, game capture. This is what I'd use no matter what. Even if you're wondering if display capture works with the game or not, just might as well use the game capture. So you can use capture any full screen application. Sometimes that doesn't work though, and what I like to do is use capture specific window. And that way, if you have a game open, you'll see it here in your window. You can select it, and then you can press OK, and it will capture that window. So as you can see here, it's just capturing the window that's inside the OBS. But if you had a game open, you click the game, and it will capture the game. Now, settings, I recommend changing for the hotkeys for your recording uh, to stop and start recording. So you don't have to have OBS open and press that button. You can simply have it like down in your taskbar and use your hotkey to start and stop recording. Um, it could even save you from having to go into your video editor and editing a, a video because you want to edit out the beginning where OBS is on the screen. So do that, make your hotkeys. If you're looking to stream, come over here to stream, choose your service, Twitch or YouTube is probably the most popular ones. If it's YouTube, this right here is your encoder key, which you'll get in your streaming page. You paste your encoder key here, press OK, and then you'll be able to start your stream. You go back to your YouTube and you will see your stream live on your YouTube page. Right here is your basic audio mixer. Uh, I'd like to turn my mic all the way up because you can always fix that if it doesn't sound good in your video editing program. And also I like to turn desktop audio all the way down unless I'm playing a game or something in which I want the volume to be heard. That is pretty much it for using OBS. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will help you out. Please leave a like and subscribe because it definitely helps out. And check out the videos I left in the description and they will hopefully help you out with your best OBS settings and if you have a black screen problem. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great day.